Happy New Year guys, this is Tom from Kudosol.com. Today I'm going to do an update on the Stistown Patina Thunderdome. So it's been third month now, it's January now, January 3rd, I'm filming this. And I did the dome from October, November, December. And it's the fourth month that we're doing this dome. And I did wear these a lot. Uh, I can't say I wore these every day, like I'm supposed to, to create a beautiful patina. But I couldn't wear these to work because at work, of course, um, it's more formal the, uh, work that I do, so I can't really wear engineer boots to work, unfortunately. But I did wear other shoes um, to work, and these were worn, if you watched my previous update, or th that I did in November as well. I did wear them a lot, as much as I can. And just a quick update on these um, now. So I wore these today as well, but it rained a bit. I went to Asda to grab some stuff and went to Starbucks to buy some coffee. But you can see the coffee, I spilled a bit of coffee there. I should have cleaned it, but I didn't, just to show you guys how it is and how it's going. Uh, a bit of a scratch here as well. I don't know if you can tell from the camera. A few things that I want to mention this month. These are finally breaking in. Uh, they're not, the, the, the outsoles or the midsoles are not stiff anymore and they are getting more and more comfortable. However, something that I've noticed is that there is no arch support. So I can see my arches collapsing a lot when I walk in these and doesn't really show a uh, great look I would say. So I'm someone who needs arch support when I walk because of my feet but they do not have any arch support for anyone who is wondering so um, next time when I choose well, for next dome if there is a dome next year well no it's this year I guess um, I will choose a pair of shoes or boots that have great arch support so that I can wear them for a long period of time without my uh, feet collapsing on these and creating a bad look. But that's one thing that I wanted to mention. Other than that, um, Shinkei Kaku Horse Hide Leather is very, very durable. Very, it's basically scratch proof, to be honest. I had, um, I think I fell down actually on the road and then I scratched my boot here. Actually, like it was, it was like a great scratch, but didn't, you know, leave any mark. Just a tiny bit of scratch on the side, so. Very impressed with the Shinki Kaku leather. Next time when I do dome, I'm not gonna pick Shinki Kaku leather because uh, my other Cordovan leather that I have for Shinki Kaku is also very, very uh, tough and it's very scratch proof. Same with these. So I'm mean, gonna next time when I choose, I'm probably gonna choose something that shows more characteristics once I wear them for a long period of time. I'm not saying it's a bad leather. It's really good because if you want to keep the pristine uh, leather for a very long time, of course choose Shinki Kaku and I'm very impressed by it. But yeah, I would not do that next time. Other than that, something also I've realized is that I really like tall boots because it, just, just just like how I just love how it feels and just how it looks on my, on uh, when I wear jeans with them or any other trousers with them so maybe I'm gonna collect start collecting more tall boots I know these are 10 inches and back behind there it's that's eight inches but I might try to collect more tall boots because I just enjoy wearing them so yeah guys this was a quick update I'll give you another update in February on how I feel and how it's going um, How's your dome going? If you're not participating in dome, do you like engineer boots? Do you like Benzane? Oh yeah, by the way, they changed their name from Benzane to Bristle Black today. So if you want to buy these, these are Benzane or slash Bristle Black. They changed their name just to let you guys know. Thank you guys for watching the video. This was Tom. Please like this video. Uh, if you have any comments or any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel. I'll come back with more videos next time.